Hey everyone, I'm Austin from Tri Ace Gaming. And this is Jason. Today we're going to be doing a Let's Play of, well, you're on the PlayStation free screen, but yeah, it's a PS1 game, so I just can't tell from the title alone, but let's find out. Some have already figured it out. It's a PlayStation game, you know. Some might guess it, some might not guess it. Oh, Spyro. No. God of War. No, that's, play that's PlayStation 2. Playing some Crash Bandicoot. And this is a game that I really, really love. I love the sequels more, but I love this one as well. So, Jason, have you ever played Crash Bandicoot before? Yeah, I've both played all of them. I haven't completed all of them. I've completed the third one, but the other two I kind of just tried out. That's about it. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine with that. So, yeah, if you, uh, before we actually start, I'm gonna have it sit here for a few seconds because if I do, then. Well, you'll see something soon. Just gotta give it time. There it is. There it is. But Dr. Cortex, we have not determined the cause of past failures. More! <laughs> this bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my Cortex commanders to world domination. This time I shall reign triumphant closer than ever before. Quickly! Into the vortex! The vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. <laughs> Failure again. Capture him! Uh-oh. Prepare the female bat. Alright then, that's uh that's our that's our plot for the game. Pretty basic, but hey, eh, it's not too bad. Okay, anyway. Now that we got that out of the way, shall we start? Yep. Okay. Alright, then. First day, first level of the game, North Sanity Beach. Sanity, because you're gonna lose it. No, the place is called Sanity, whatever. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, four. So the controls quickly for the game is like you move crash with the D-pad, you jump with the A button, and uh, not the A button, sorry, the X button. And we've got Xbox for the mind mix up for a sec, but yeah, jumping with A, I mean X, damn it, and use using your attack, you notice know, the spin attack and your spur button. Pretty easy. I will say the sequels did get better because they used analog controls. What have I got? So for this first game, it works. Yeah, I'm just gonna collect these uh, boxes here. I'm jump on the enemies. Yep, yep. Also, that, uh, these two Tiki guys are picking up count as your uh, hit points. Or, yeah, you count as your hit points, and so, uh, yeah. Lose them all, you get hit, lose them all, you die. And here's what happens when you get free. It's more. Yep. First mask and the second mask. How can you tell? Oh, uh, color. First mask. The first mask is uh, brown, and uh, you know the second one's gold. And I was gonna go back there and get some, but I was like, no. 
Yeah, you know, I don't really need it, but I'll explain what it is. So anyway, so, so anyway, in case you haven't you you haven't figured it out, it's like there are certain collectibles you can get in the game to where if you get all if you get all the boxes in the stage, you get the collectible, but you also have to get to them without dying. And seeing as how I didn't die, I see the screen, but at the same time it's telling me the boxes I missed. And uh, the gem, and what you get is our, and what you get is if you get all the, all the boxes and gem, and uh, and beat the levels without dying is you get gems, which, are you know, just for 100 percent, and they give you like a slightly different ending, but it's not really anything special. So I'm not going for it. And bragging rights, don't forget that. Bragging rights are like everywhere. Mm -hmm. Alright, jungle rollers. Alright. Oh yeah, those are nitro crates right there. I don't think I explained those, but yeah. You jump on them and uh, they uh, they count down from three. Which if uh, they do count to your overall grade, but they do it a bit weird. Like, if you want hundred percent this you have to make sure that those uh, nitro crates are uh, on, like, you can see them on screen, because if they're off screen, they don't count, which I find pretty stupid. But yeah, just a tip, just to let you know if you plan on 100%ing this game, if you haven't played it yet. The so sequels did fix the problem, and these things are, uh, and this, thing, and this thing I just collected is, I'll explain it once I get two more. And but now, if it's built. Particularly, that yeah, what you see right there is this is the only way you can save your game is by finding these bonus rounds. Yeah, that's what makes it more important in this game. In the sequels they just gave save feature and everything. Good luck trying to remember that. Oh, do you want to? Do, I just want to do passwords. So yeah, uh, da, 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 I'll save over this one right here because it's like my old file. That I had here. I've beaten this game more than once on my PS1 file, PS1 memory card, so I'll save over that file without too much problem. And. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, fortunately, the deaths in these games are graphic, as in they're comical. They're not violent, so a little kid can play this without any problem, as you can see. They got two bads. They got. Okay, then time. Okay, time to get serious. Speaking of death, I don't know if What's this the, is gonna stop. Oh, right. Stop, stop, stop. Just, stop talking. So I'm getting past this part. I don't know if no, 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 no. Oh, there's still more. Yeah. Whoops. I don't know why I'm so scared. So easy, I guess, because I'm doing a lot to Okay, now we can talk. Alright, well anyways, speaking of violent ways to die, I, I know this is kind of off topic since it's not the game, but I remember a death in Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess where if you fell in the lava, freaking Link would literally scream and reach his hand out of the water. Yeah, okay, I'm good. Okay, I, mean, I will agree with you on that, that was pretty graphic. Anyway, third level, the Great Gate. Yeah, real quick, quick tip. When you jump on these, jump and hold 
as you, uh, yeah, just jump in, just hold A, hold the X button, you'll jump higher. Just trust me on this. Turns out they're called Wampa Fruit in this game, or in the series altogether. They're basically they're basically just fake fruit that resemble apples. Yeah, when I was little, I used to play this. I could have swore that they were apples. Okay, see this guy right here? Make sure you jump on him. Like that, then you hurt. Yeah. Should should be that much of a problem for some of you. That's like this is what happens after I play this. I played the sequel. I've been playing the sequels a lot recently because I actually decided to 100% try and 100% them. And it's quite clear like um, they have analog control, and I'm still used to analog control. So now I'm going back to the D-pad. I'm still getting used to everything. I'll be all right then. Hopefully. Well, this older game is just. Old. Responses. You, know, you go off and you play new games. You come back to older games. You just you're just rusty. That's just all there is to it. Yeah, I don't think I can blame you too much on that. <sighs> I'm happy I'm LPing this game. It's fun. All right. I'm happy that you're finally getting an LP done for yourself. Yeah. This channel's 
doing this channel is really fun. Even though we have even though we have been around too much. Yeah, we're sorry about that. We're gonna try doing our your LPs more often of course, but yeah. real life strikes and you know. What can you do? Careful. Most difficult things about playing a band crash bandicoot game is knowing the timing of everything. Knowing the timing of not only things like that, but timing your attack itself. It if just, you don't do it right, you'll end up spinning, and you'll stop spinning, and you'll be left wide open to get hit by whatever you're trying to attack. Oh, well, sorry, I wasn't paying attention there. I was, I was like, checking something on the computer. I want to see if everything's alright. I've been having some weird computer issues. Just oh so you guys know, everything's fine though, but I was just being cautious. And I think I'm at the end of level one. Okay. Maybe. Well, no, no, I'm not at the end of level one. I think I'm at least halfway. Alright, this time I'm not going to screw up the bonus round. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Really? That's eh, Crash Bandicoot for me. I think I uh, should be coming up to something. Yep. This is our first boss, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Let's see him. It's Papu Papu. Now if I remember what he does, he does that. Okay, gotta like jump on his head, yeah, yeah. Gets faster and faster, man. I don't know what the hell I did there, but... Oh, you still don't call him, so that was pretty cool. That was actually, yeah, it was pretty cool. There we go. I like that. Oh, yeah, I think I got, I think that was a frame I got hit on. There we go. I'm still a bit rusty at trying to hurt him. I never really got to hang, much of the hang of it. It's weird. Alright, Rolling Stones. I think actually we're going to end part one here, guys. So, thanks for, thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate it. So, anyway, I'm Austin. This is Jason. And we'll see you guys for part two. Goodbye.